So we received a response from Chase Bank just now after our investigation showing them taking people's counts away for political reasons. This is the response, quote, Patricia Wexler, we do not close accounts due to political affiliation despite what was described in the video. That was not someone from global corporate media relations. Now what's interesting, Patricia, is that's the number that our reporter was told he was calling on your website, 212 uh, 270 that's Corporate Global Media Relations, contacts. That's the number our reporter was told he was calling. And Isram, at that phone number, spoke with us. Here's that bit. Thank you for banking with Chase. My name's uh, Isram, who's have a pleasure speaking to. Hi, I'm sorry, what did you say your name was? Isram. Isram. What Patricia Wexler does not address in her response is the actual substance of the piece, including this, this quote from their Chase Bank employee that says... Right, you know, any, any, any kind of um, business entity, you know, people that have, you know, um, just no moral character or anything like that, the bank usually doesn't get involved with that. She doesn't address that. She doesn't address that that's not true. She also does not address this bit about we don't do business with alt-right people or anything, don't in get involved in anything like that. She doesn't address the substance of what we reported. Right, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, Chase is not involved in any, uh, like, you know, all right, um, you know, people or anything. I mean, I really can't name any names, but, you know, it's, it's basically, like, we don't get involved in any of that, right? you know. So we did dial the number of corporate media relations, and it's absolutely positively undeniable that this man we recorded works for Chase Bank, and she doesn't deny the characterizations of the types of employees Chase does business with. She doesn't deny the substance of our piece. She just talks about the guy's title. That's what this has been reduced to. So our follow-up for Patricia Wexler is, what about the substance of what your employee said? Is it true or not?